Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Where's the base? Hey y'all, this channel just reached 10,000 subscribers. I would like to start this video by saying thank you very much for your support. I'm really glad you're enjoying the content that I do. I always have fun whenever I make these music videos and tutorials, and I'm glad you're having fun with it too. So again, thank you very much for 10K, and to celebrate this milestone, we're gonna do a little bit of time travel. In this video, we are going to look at some very old music projects that I made all the way back as far as 2014. I've probably forgotten what a lot of them are, and we'll see, is it all gonna be cringe, or is it gonna be good ideas with poor production? Or is it gonna be a mixture of both? Let's jump in and find out. All right, so here we are in the studio. This is my uh, render tracks folder. This is where I keep all of the songs that I made the render. And then you have these ones in the middle that begin with Neon Kid. Neon Kid was my original name before I went with Nitro Kappa. These are the ones we're gonna be listening to in this video. 22 gauge rifle. Wait, it's not a freaking 12 gauge? A freaking 12 gauge, what do you think? Here we go, June 2014. Let's hear how this sounds. Of course it's EDM. This is 2014, of course it's EDM. This is seven and a half minutes long. I will not be able to listen to the whole thing. Somebody's been using FL keys. You're more of a songwriter than a producer. Oh man. I'm head bothered, but it's. <laughs> oh, there's. Oh, there's a clapping hat. I'm just amazed. All right, where does it go from here? There has to be another drop other than this. Oh, pause. <laughs> right back to the piano loop. Oh, oh, we're getting to build up. Oh my gosh. Here we go. It took like seven minutes to get to that part. In incredible. All right, what else we got? Forget him XL, but I'm going with that one just for the name. Oh, I remember this one. This is like a trance thing. Oh, that is some compression. Go. <laughs> Stock FL vocal samples will always get me. I mean, it's it's cool, but like the mixing is atrocious, and like the sound design kind of too. But mostly the mixing. I, I feel like for this, I mostly just put like a sound goodizer on every channel. It's just, that's just what it sounds like to me. For those of you who don't know, sound goodizer is a built-in compressor in FL Studio. That's kind of a joke. So in 2020, actually, I came up with a challenge for myself called No Sound Goodizer September. It's basically just don't use a sound goodizer whatsoever throughout the entire month of September. And it'll make you better at mixing and mastering. <laughs> All right, what else is there? Uh, what's Mafia? Four minutes, it's like a house thing. And these are all the, the groove drum samples, the GRV samples. Gee, it sure is boring. Let's get to an interesting bit. Silence. Oh, never mind. Hmm. So th this is a preset I made in Harmless after following like a really old tutorial. So if some of these sound familiar, then that's what it is. And if you want to know uh, where the Harmless preset is, I don't know anymore. At 
least I remember to tell you chain it. Oh. Is it gonna be something different? Hey, at least I remembered to sidechain it. There is no denying that sidechain. And again with the FL keys, man, my gosh. I mean, the melody is all right, a little repetitive, but not bad for April 2014. That's, that's, that's fine. Ultra Complexro, oh my gosh. Yeah, I was, I was such an EDM head back in the mid 2010s. You can tell. This one ought to be really good. What do you know? Again, it's like a minute of drums at the beginning. Oh, okay. I, I feel it was kind of good. And like the, uh, I like the open hat after that. Kind of cool. <laughs> what? <gasps> what is this piano? And why is it, why is there portamento on the piano? This is, this is baffling. What? Oh, I, I remember this bass preset. I made it in Citrus and I, I stole it from a FL breakdown video that doesn't exist anymore. No, seriously, I don't think you can find the video anymore. The guy who made the video I watched for this like deleted 90% of his stuff. There's gotta be a good drop after this. Okay, there better be. I think, I think this is just the part where I just have like the drums and melody together, like before the buildup and the drop, cause I like doing that for some reason. Here's the buildup, here we go. Woo! Heads up display. This was my my attempt at dubstep, I believe. And it's not good. <laughs> the reverb is immaculate. There's so much reverb, there's high CPU detected in this. Wow, just the not even any chords, it's just drums. Not even bass either. Wait, we're already halfway through this? Only two minutes long. It's like the length of a of a drift funk track. It's like the only good thing you can say about this. It's it's only two minutes long. <laughs> that I'm 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 not even gonna do the last minute. No thank you. Okay, this one's pretty chill. Wow, oh, you can barely even hear the kick unless you use good headphones. Oh. I like the drum. I, I like the drum patterns in this, honestly. You know, I I should I should use this as like background music in my videos. That's that's totally what you could use it for. It's not it's not like over like compressed or soundized or anything like that. It's it's kind of laid back and in the background. It has a lot of potential. It just it just doesn't go anywhere. Mm, I rem I remember progressive hip. This one this one's really funny. We're in 2015 now. The Vector. It's like a... It's like a 
workout tape. I think that's what I had in mind when I made this. I want to make something like a workout tape. Work your hips. Work your progressive hips. The uh, song structure. Look into it. If you want, if you want more EDM, EDM. Uh, PR firm is a gr is a great place to go. Starting off again with like a minute of drums and nothing else. You gotta love the the saw wave. It's as sonorous as the mosquito flying over your bed. Oh, there's more of it. Great baseline. What what am I going for here? It's like my gosh, and and the sound geyser. Like uh, again, I swear I'm putting sound geyser on every channel to make it work. Oh, uh, working up. Where's the bass? It's kick and pluck. <laughs> There's no bass. <laughs> there it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, unbelievable. I'm making a big room house track. I'm making dance hall EDM music. And I don't even have a base for the first half of the drop. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's too good. All right, all right, all right. We need, we need one more to round this out. When this day ends, I kind of remember this one. It's from like January 2015. Yeah, I feel like this might be a step up. Oh. Still very amateur, but I've, it's still a lot better than. It sounds vaguely competent now. I mean, it's still stock samples, but it sounds tasteful. <laughs> a bit more tasteful. Oh my god. Whoa! Hold on! When did I get good? Why why is this kinda good? Like that da 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 That's kind that's actually kind of a good riff. I I like that. Like that's the closest thing to a melody I've written <laughs> so far. But yeah, when this day ends, that was actually like that's decent. I should like repurpose it sometime like it's like kind of a song maybe like work it out into something like more modern Th that'd be nice but yeah this has been me reacting to old music that i made before this has definitely been an interesting experience to look back on how i performed as a music producer way back before i even uploaded to youtube i hope this has been fun for you as well i don't normally do this kind of content you know like reaction videos or, or whatever but it was just something silly, something fun to do for my uh, 10K subscriber milestone. Thank you very much again for 10K subscribers, and I'll see you again in the next video. Goodbye. Gee, I hope I didn't take too long with this video. Let me just check real quick. Oh my god, no!